The nuclear-powered aircraft carrier, Charles de Gaulle, is the centerpiece of the French Navy. The carrier is the 10th French aircraft carrier and the first French nuclear-powered surface vessel. It is also the only operational nuclear-powered carrier, apart from those in service with the U.S. Navy. As of 2021, she is also the only non-American carrier vessel to utilize a catapult launch system which has allowed the vessel to operate with FA-18 Super Hornet and C-2 Greyhound aircraft. Although, it endured several setbacks and delays during a 15-year construction period before entering service in 2001. During construct, the ship ran into huge cost overruns, totaling roughly 18% and several major delays. In fact, work had to be stopped on four separate occasions. Even Charles de Gaulle faced difficulties once the ship was completed. The ship had to be fitted with better radiation shielding after inspectors found higher than expected radioactivity on board. The ship had been in construction so long that safety standards had changed. Moreover, the ship's flight deck had to be extended by about 14 feet to accommodate the Hawkeye. The vessel had originally been designed to launch and recover the Super Attendard, the Raphael, and the U.S. Navy's F-A-18 Super Hornet, so the requirement to operate the Hawkeye was only added in 1992, which necessitated the refit. The carrier also faced tremendous problems with its propulsion system. The ship had issues with vibration. During one well-publicized incident, the propellers literally snapped. The problem was traced to faulty manufacturing, there were air pockets in the cast copper aluminum alloy. Worse, the blueprints for the propellers had been lost in a fire, which meant that the ship had to be refitted with hand-me-down screws from Bosch and Clemenceau aircraft carrier. That cut her speed down from 27 knots to about 24 knots, which was unfortunate, since she is already considerably slower than her predecessors, which steamed at 32 knots. Although Charles de Gaulle was eventually refitted with new propellers in 2007, during her first refueling, the Charles de Gaulle's advantage over conventional carriers is that she doesn't need as much logistical support compared to her predecessors due to her nuclear propulsion. However, the French opted for a reactor that needs to be refueled every seven years. By comparison, an American carrier is only refueled once during its 50-year lifespan. The refit also added a host of improvements that allowed the French to finally exploit its full potential. But even then, Charles de Gaulle suffered another embarrassing electrical fault in the propulsion system in 2010 that cut her deployment short literally to one day. At this point, however, most of the bugs seem to have been ironed out. Finally, the 42,500-ton Charles de Gaulle is not the equivalent of a Nimitz or Ford-class carrier. The ship is less than half the size and it doesn't have the deck space to accommodate as many aircraft or launch and recover those jets at the same rate, but it is a relatively capable vessel. The flight deck is not long enough to conduct simultaneous launch and recovery operations, but at maximum capacity, it can carry 40 aircraft and launch 100 sorties in a single day. But that's at maximum capacity. In reality, Charles de Gaulle doesn't carry nearly that many planes at any one time. What she does do is give France an independent strategic power projection capability, which is Paris' first and foremost defense policy objective.